Welcome my friends to a new video. So Life is Strange Double Exposure is coming out the 29th of October. It's by Square Enix, published by Square Enix and developed by Deck 9 Games. So not by, don't, not anymore. So I think I have to figure out which games or where the license for Life is Strange lies at the moment. So follow us, 18,381 people. And unfortunately, we see only mixed reviews. So, and in this video, I want to give you, my friend, some some information about uh, the sentiment uh, that we have uh, with regards to this game. So, there are people that play this already a bit earlier. So, what do those people think? So, with regard to the narrative and the emotional depth. So, many players and reviewers appreciate Life is Strange double exposure for its emotional depth and the way it handles theme of loss grief and the consequences of choices. The game seems to have successfully captured a poignant and emotional narrative which, res which is resonating with players who enjoy the series for its story. So that's me guys. Character continui continuity. There's a positive reaction to the return of Max Caulfield, with some expressing joy over seeing her character develop further alongside her original voice actress, Hannah Tell, doing full performance capture. This has been highlighted as a significant draw for fans of the original game. With regard to the gameplay mechanics, the new power Max has, allowing her to transfer her consciousness between timelines, has received mixed reviews. Some find it an intriguing evolution of her original time rewinding ability, providing fresh gameplay and puzzle elements. However, others feel it hasn't grabbed them as expected or find it somewhat clunky or less impactful in the gameplay contact. Respect for the original endings. A point of praise is how the game handles the endings from the original Life is Strange. It allows players to define their canon ending through gameplay choices, which has been seen as a respectful nod to player agency from the first game. So very good uh, canon endings. Oh, wow. Criticism and concerns. There are concerns regarding how the game structures its narrative around player choice, with some feeling that the need to reconcile different endings from the original has led to a less impactful or somewhat contrived storyline set up. Additionally, some fans are disappointed with how relationships, particularly between Max and Chloe, have been handled off screen. And then, my friends, uh, with regard to the gameplay and the writing, some players have noted that while the game brings back the beloved exploration and interaction elements, so I love them a lot, certain aspects like Max Journal feel less authentic or lifeless even, suggesting a disconnect in the writing or presentation of Max in a world. Overall reception, the general sentiments leans towards positive, with many appreciating the return to Max's story, the new mystery and emotional death. However, there are also criticism regarding character development choices, the new powers implementation and some narrative decisions that might not sit well with all fans of the series. So my friends, in summary, Life is Strange double exposure seems to be well received for its emotional storytelling and the return of a beloved character, though with some reservations about specific gameplay elements and narrative choices so hmm what do you think are you going to purchase life is strange double exposure is this a game that interests you did you play the previous life is strange game so leave me a comment about this also uh, share this video like this video subscribe to my channel and all of this and uh, if you are yeah, if you're willing to pay 80 euros, by the way, then you can already get uh, the full release of this game right now. And then you can also see if you like this game and write some of those impressive pre-release reviews. So if this is something for you, my friend, so write it also in the commentary section. Here are the previous Life is Strange game. So great series. I always liked, always appreciated. And I'm certainly going to play this game at one point, maybe not on release directly. We will see. All right. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.